I started having trouble with my mental health when I was about five, four or five. Um, and it started as an anxiety thing. I used to get terrified of thunder and lightning to the point where I was literally out of control. I'd be, I'd be in, a, in a feverish frenzy, crying, screaming, terrified. And they kind of sort of said he were, that I were a bit anxious at the time and I took some medicine for a while. And I kind of grew out of it. But that's when it first started. And then as I grew up, I did suffer with depression, but I didn't understand what it was. I, you know, you don't. When you're a kid, you just think you feel unpopular. You feel like nobody likes you. And it was only when I were in my sort of 30s that I really got to grips with it and, and realised or actually got a diagnosis of stuff, suffering from depression. I had a breakup or a marriage. And during that marriage, I'd suffered from depression. And then after that, I lived on my own for a while. And while I was living on my own, I got more depressed. I went back to live with my mum and it carried on. And then everything took off. I went from, from virtually nobody knowing who I were to, to being big Sean out at Everly Pregnant Brothers and everybody knew who I were. And I'd got loads and loads of mates, band were flying high. Everything was just going so well. Uh, I had a great job that I loved. And then one day, I just woke up and I didn't want to be here. I, I couldn't shake this feeling that everybody would be better off if I were gone. Thought about how I'd do it. Thought about different ways of doing it. And that's when I really started looking deeply into what were causing me issues. I went to counselling in lockdown and that opened everything up. I started to tackle why I was anxious as a child, started to tackle why I felt like a misfit, started to tackle why I felt like nobody wanted me around. And I changed the narrative through talking and talking to somebody who could talk back and, and listen to what I, what I was telling her. And the things that cause you depression can be anything. I mean, you know, it can be something as daft as a breakup, but it can be debt. It can be worrying about how you're going to pay bills. It can be worrying about how your mum and dad are getting on. Anything can, can set you off and trigger it. But it always comes from somewhere. And it always comes from somewhere inside you. And that's where you need to go. But talking, well, talking saves lives and it saved my life. And if you are struggling, then the best thing you can do is talk. Talk to anybody. If it's just, if you don't feel like talking to a doctor, talk to a friend, talk to a family member, talk to a stranger. As long as you can get what's in your head out and in the open, You've cracked it. I, I encourage everybody to talk because if you do, everything that's wrong in your life can change. You know, you can, you can get through any problem. Just don't bottle things up.